Welcome back to the Sailboat and Chelsea channel. My dreams came through when I bought a 30 foot Beneteau sailboat. I've been sailing since age 10 and previously owned a dinghy, which I sold almost 4 years ago. The sale funded my adventures in France and I set my intentions to buying a project boat I could live aboard when returning to finish university in Trinidad. Hey folks, this is a quick video that reflects the reality of what it kind of looks like a lot of the time that I come down to boat during the pandemic. It's now after like 4.30 and the curfew starts at 7 p.m. today and I'm really just gonna get like two, two or three things done max so let's go do this quickly and head out to here. In the Southern Caribbean, it's the rainy season. Of course, this happens every year. However, we also had a pretty wet, dry season. So at this point, I'm just kind of frustrated with the rain. As such, I try to do what I can to work around the rain. And so again, mostly mornings and evenings as the bulk of the rain tends to fall during the middle of the day. Remove footwear, open the companionway hatch. <coughs> Once on board, my routine is pretty much always the same. Next, I go down below to open up the hatches and get some air flowing through the boat. Especially from doing work down below this, I mean, it would be impossible to work without having these hatches open. One of my favorite things to do aboard Sailboat Chelsea so far is to look up at the sky through the hatches. The blue sky, the fluffy white clouds, just gives you a sense of dreaming and freedom. Today most of my work will be taking place down below. I'm going to replace the pellets in the moisture absorber, the damper containers that I showed you all before, and I am going to take off the covers on the cushions. The main thing that I'm doing today is emptying these and I went to the hardware store today and I got the some of this. So yeah, I brought a bucket inside and I'm just gonna pour, pour them in. I'm one of those people who always like usually cut hairlines on things. I always look for them and I'm always so disappointed when um, product products don't come with it. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> okay, great. Just these pellets. Pellets. Put them back. This I'm going to make sure and seal it properly and then put it into storage. Up next, I have to move the cushions. I know in the last video I told you all that I was keeping the cushions off and I do but I have some exciting news about something that came up and I had good reason to present the boats in the best possible manner so I put the the cushions onto the boat in the covers and well now that that experience if you want to call it that is over I'm gonna take off all of the covers 
on the cushion so that I can continue mitigating potential mold and mildew issues like I've had before. The most efficient way of getting the cushions in and out of the cushion covers seems to be folding it in about half and then using that extra like length on the cloth because it's no longer taking up the full space to get them out and yeah I think it works it, it well it works for me in the previous video I started sorting out the fresh water system now it's time to sort out the LPG propane cooking system and this system is quite antiquated it also isn't up to the US standard it, the boat is a French boat and it was last owned and operated by an Englishman so they do things quite differently across there when it comes to all the propane safety methods and measures and I'm going to be changing up some of that and leaving some of that <laughs> I can imagine that folks accustomed to the American systems uh, I suppose they mightn't be too pleased with what I am going to do but I'm going to make some changes like moving the propane tanks from inside the boat to off the back rail and I am going to make some other upgrades. It's a work in progress right now so you'll see pretty soon. And yeah that's about it. I just got two things done but there are two things that needed to be done. Made some progress and now it's time for me to face the traffic and hopefully reach home in time. So I know this was the most exciting of videos, however it's a pretty fair representation of what things look like working on a sailboat, working on a new boat during the pandemic, during the rainy season here in the southern Caribbean. And yeah, sometimes it's a bit of a bummer. Right now, well, hardware is reopened, I think last week, uh, but they're not open all day long and they're not open every day of the week so that is you know inconvenient uh in addition to that right now the boatyard still isn't really allowing workers to come in and work on boats the boat is just kind of there i'm doing what i can and i um and i'm also not working because my work like the work that i usually do falls under non-essential so yeah it's a bit of a strange time but you know, it is what it is and you just keep going through it. I suppose the whole purpose of this channel was to show my journey and it wasn't like, you know, to show like the highlights of this journey, but just to share the journey with you all and for myself later on. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> even if this video wasn't super exciting, there are, I guess, more exciting videos to come when I finally hook back up the water system. Uh, you see whatever progress I make with the LPG propane system and it, one, the exciting thing that I mentioned earlier on, uh, which I still have to get permission to share, <laughs> as well as the um, fourth thing, which is that really good news with the rigging um, and the improvements I was able to make there. So yeah, that's about it, folks. Uh, if you've seen other videos on the channel you, and you enjoyed them, uh, don't take this as a video that, yeah, we didn't like it, so, but please still subscribe and like, leave a comment, I don't know, what's it like in your corner of the world, are you guys under lockdown, or are things moving speedily along by now? Anyway, see you all next time.